fast so that I hit my targets, so that I'm also able to help those who came here looking for help. Um, I will see how we can strategically use it, um, how the spirit will lead, but everyone shall be helped. But as um, Fundis was saying, that most of the things happen as the word is going forth. Actually, you have had so many testimonies worldwide of people who are just watching a stream and things were happening. So as we minister the word, allow the Holy Spirit to do what you thought I have to lay hands on you to do it. Allow the Spirit of God, it will be a greater testimony to you. But one thing I would declare just even before we read the scripture is that God is more ready to give you what you are looking for. If you came here as a newcomer, don't worry, we're going to help you. And lives won't be the same. That we declare and we know it. So let's read. I, I think as I run my sermon, if I reach a certain point where I feel like we have to pray, we'll pray. Then I see if I can finish. But we want to make sure spiritual victories are won today. The Bible says, As thou knowest not the way of the Spirit, nor how bones do grow in the womb of him he that, of her that is a, with a child, even thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. Amen. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come this scripture reading to your hands. May wonders be done, Lord. Father, may transformations, may deliverances, may encounters and experiences by your spirit, Father, that will change men forever. What men cannot do, what a preacher cannot do, let your unction and your power, Lord, come as uh, that dynamis and, Father, power to transform lives and to break unseen patterns and to Pick your people to realms of exploits and mighty works of the spirit until those who are here shall become a source for those who are not here to know that the works of God and exploits are still possible in this generation. We come to ends in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, you may be seated. So here the Bible says, you know not the way of the spirit or how bones grow in the person in the womb right there. So you may not know how or when, but God knows exactly how your answer is going to come. The Bible says that there is a path which no fowl knoweth, or any vulture or eye has seen, nor the wolves of the lion has trodden. There is a path of your answer that no one can say how your answer will come to you. No one will see that mystic channel. But as the word is going forth, there is an unseen hand that is arranging things and packaging blessings for you. Where you are seated there, your answer will come right there. In a path that no one can understand. Because the Bible says, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. I don't know how God will deliver you, but God knows how to give you the job that you want. God knows how to save your children. God knows how to bring a revival in your life. God knows how to make you overcome what you are facing. God knows how the how is only known by God. He knows you by name and he knows what you are passing through. He knows how much you can bear. He knows your address. He knows the number of your hair. He knows what you have been through. He knows what he's doing in your life. And in Jeremiah he says, call unto me. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. While we are praying, there are things you don't know that God will make happen to you. While we are praying, you don't know how you receive the Holy Ghost. Don't copy another person. God will show you how you receive the Holy Ghost. If you are praying for your courtship, God will give you that courtship. If you are praying for your victory, if things are not moving, God knows how to make them move. Prayer is an engine in the spirit. When you are praying in the spirit, something happens that is unstoppable because prayer is the wireless connection. Things that you don't understand will happen. Your spirit is charged when you are praying. That's why the Bible says in Exodus uh, chapter, chapter 14 that uh, they left, uh, the children of Israel came out of Egypt with the boldness. The King James says uh, with a high hand. You know, it's a high crunch, the end is called boldness. So they left Egypt with the boldness. There is an Egypt that you are living today. There is a state that you are living. But don't live as if you are not sure you are living. Don't live that condition as if you are not sure. Live with boldness, emphatically. Say it's over. With your own mouth, declare that I'm out of this. And that condition will never come to you again. Now the Bible says the wicked flee when no one is pursuing, but the righteous is as bold as a lion. So today I want you to have that boldness to speak from the depth of your heart and your spirit to say I'm done with this chapter. As I say, it is now 24th 
day of the month. All the principalities they are crumbling down. Actually, even in Numbers 33 verse 3, it says, uh, on the 15th day of the month, on the day of the Passover, the children of Israel set out from Ramses. They marched defiantly in the view of all the Egyptians. They were, they were moving with boldness. Why Egypts were, Egyptians were watching? They were moving defiantly. Why spirits that say you will never be married are watching? You are moving defiantly. Why spirits of poverty are watching? You are moving defiantly. Why spirits that were making you tired when you are listening to a tape are watching? You are moving defiantly. And they actually declared that we are leaving no wolf in Egypt. Your children are coming out. Everything that was bound is released. Everything that belongs to you is released. Whatever is yours will protect the miracle. They were so bold. Until the Bible says not even a dog move their, their, their tongue against the Israelites. There is not one spirit that will say what. There is not one even Sangoma that will say what. You know, because our God is a jealous God. He watches over you. He is ready to give you your desire today. Where you are seated there, be ready for the Holy Ghost baptism. Be ready for every chain to break in your life. And the Bible says, they did cry there and said, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt is but a noise. He has passed this appointed time. Your sickness is but a noise. It has expired. It has passed in its appointed time. The Bible says that even lawful captives shall be set free. Even if you are in that situation because of your own natures and your own mistakes and your own sins, God is so rich in mercy that you will reach in that miracle and break your burdens. You're not going to be in that situation forever. It started somewhere. It has to end today. Now, we see how this earth will be changed. And the prophet says, Paradecomia, that it will change. The same earth will become a new earth. Let it be a paradecomia of your life, a paradecomia of your marriage, where the same marriage will become a new marriage. The Bible says, uh, actually, the prophet talks about how everything around us is supernatural. We have a supernatural gospel, supernatural results, supernatural anointing, supernatural vindication, supernatural encounters, supernatural experiences, supernatural visitation, supernatural wisdom, supernatural, everything is supernatural. Supernatural atmosphere, supernatural presence. There is something that is here that gives me confidence to declare that cancer can end. There is nothing impossible when you are in the house of God. Supernatural healing. Supernatural blessings, supernatural victories, supernatural element everywhere, supernatural restoration, everything that you lost this year, what you lost financially, what you lost spiritually, what you lost as opportunities, let it come back because God says, I will restore. Supernatural breakthrough, supernatural supplies. There is a line of supply that no other person can see where God is supplying to you super abundantly above what you can ask. The supernatural empowerment, supernatural elevation, supernatural promotion, supernatural solutions, supernatural services, supernatural anointing, supernatural transportation. You can be transported to a realm and sphere where all things are possible. Let God give you supernatural senses and to pick the supernatural promptings and sickness of the Holy Spirit until you see supernatural happenings in your life. Everything around us is supernatural. It's supernatural realms that we dwell in above humanistic realm, a realm of visions of rapture well, that based on your mind. Supernatural provisions. May God provide for you supernaturally. May God intervene supernaturally. Supernatural protection, supernatural abundance, supernatural inspiration. Everything around us is supernatural. Supernatural works of the spirit, supernatural work, supernatural skills. So the prophet says, be expecting it. Simon, Simeon was expecting God to keep his word. Abraham was expecting God to keep his word. David was expecting God to keep his word. Samson was expecting God to keep his word. And uh, he says, even the Hebrew children were expecting. As you are sitting there, expect something. You can't come all the way from Limpombo and go back the same. You can't come all the way to see, man, you, we, let us see Jesus. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What I can tell you, I've never seen him fail. I was young, and now I'm old, yet I've never seen his power fail. The promise of the hour says, even missing limbs will be restored. The promise of the hour is the third pool that a brother will give you rain. 
And those things are not just jargons of the message. We have stepped into that sphere. The prophet says the church of the Lord living God is moving to a sphere right now. We can't continue to be moving into a sphere and never reach there. By now we are in that sphere. And we are here to demonstrate that power. The promise of the hour is upon us. Let me tell you, it's never too late with God. No matter how many prayer lines you attended and failed, no matter how many attempts you tried and failed, but it's never too late with God. Now, God bypasses procedures and protocols. Without even passing your, your phone for whatever, God can give you a job. God can give you an answer. As long as you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be given unto you. The Bible says everyone who asks receives. This is not for special people, it's for everyone. If you are here with a request wherever you are, that request you shall start ticking one by one. Everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. Everyone who knocks the door shall be open. Whether it's a door of marriage, whether it's a door of visitation, whether it's a door of the miraculous, that door cannot be stopped on. It's going to open for you. And in Romans chapter 10 verse 13 it says, whosoever, you know it's not for special people. It's for whosoever. I believe you are one of the whosoever's here. If there are so many whosoever's here, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There must be no question about your salvation. You must know that you know that you know that you know that you are saved. You must say, if anybody asks you just who I am, tell them I'm redeemed. The Lord is nigh unto them that call upon them. Uh, oh, the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him in truth. If you are here and you are true about it, there are some who just call but not in truth. But if you are calling in truth and saying, Lord, that situation I left at home, I don't want to find it. Before you, even this service ends, that situation will have vanished. Your situation hears your voice. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It says, there are times when you are overwhelmed, but when your soul is overwhelmed, he will lead you to a rock that is higher. So my sister, even if you feel overwhelmed, God won't let you down. You may be overwhelmed, uh, overwhelmed and your deadline is almost getting. Let me tell you, God knows your deadline. The prophet tells us that when you, are, when you get desperate and go, and go praying, God answers you. He says that if you let Jesus come in, you, you won't uh, no more say the days of miracles are past. Jesus is in there. You will take control of your life entirely. Your life is a miracle. How you are still standing after all those attacks. How you are still surviving after what you pass through. How you remain standing after the devil tries this and that. You are a miracle. In the days of COVID, you stood. Even now against all weapons, you are standing. God has blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that were against you. All those things that said you won't live long, you are living on. You shall not die. You shall live to decay the works of God. This night we want to blot out the handwriting of ordinance, the voices of the devil, the voices of doubts, the voices of sin. Stop them and apply the voice of God in your life. I want to silence demons. Who told you you are sick? When God came to the Garden of Eden, he says, who told you you are naked? This is not God's language. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say I'm rich. As we are shooting the word, someone is coming out of their prison. The prophet says, do you believe with all your heart that the angel of the Lord accompanies the message always? This is part of always. This is part of always. He is here right now. The pillar of fire is searching for a sister whose matter has been for a long time hanging in the courts. Your matter has been for a long time in home affairs. Your matter has been for a long time in the courts there. We are snatching it and, and bringing a verdict today. God specializes in what specialists fail to do. Against all odds, God can do it. He says the angel of the Lord and the angel of the edge. 
He has appeared in form of the Holy Ghost and is bringing us a message today. So the Holy Ghost is here and says the pillar of fire has nothing to do with me. I'm just a man. The pillar of fire is in the church, not only with me. It's with every one of you. All of us, that pillar of fire, you don't have to see it. You must know that is there. And when that fire is, there are some things that disappear. And there are some things that appear. Notice the pillar of fire should put us into action as the pillar of fire vindicates the promise of the last day. I, my part is to just tell you you are healed. But God will vindicate that statement. My part is, my part is to tell you that the Egyptians that you see, they are taxing the night. They are taxing your marriage. They are taxing your finances. I want to say no more losses. No more devourers. No more misfortunes. You are free as a daughter of God. They looked upon him and they were lightened. Their faces were not ashamed. Okay, someone who knows that you, you, you are redeemed. You won't be ashamed. The Bible says this poor man called on the Lord. And the Lord heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. God is going to hear you today. I, I don't know how long you've been in that situation. But I say, it has expired. One time Jesus told the disciples, let us go to the other side. There is another side where all is joy. There is another side where all is peace. You cannot always be on the side of a prayer request. One day you will be on the side of a testimony. But while they were transitioning, because the devil hates transitions in your life, the devil wants to see you stagnant, sister, where nothing is moving. He wants you to, to be even sorry of yourself that people will say message doesn't work. The message works on you. There was a storm. The devil trying to stop the transition. But Jesus still the storm. The intent of the battle indicates that your victory is near. When you see so many battles, don't give up. The victory is near. I'm seeing victorious faces here. Today we're going to shout the victory. As the walls of Jericho are crumbling. So the devil always fights the hardest. When he's sensing that he's losing you. He's losing the battle. But the Bible is saying, having done all stand. Though 10,000 fall by your right hand side, remain standing. When others give up, sister, remain standing. What you have to do is to stand. The answer will find you standing. Your victory will find you standing. Whatever you lose, remain standing. Whatever attacks happens, remain standing. Whatever is discouraging you, remain standing. Whatever the enemy proves, remain standing. And then your testimony will find you. They go from strength to strength. Everyone that appeared before, just by appearing here, there is a strength that, was, that is in you which was not there when you came here. There is a strength in you that will make you pray through and break through. So the path of the just is like a shining light that shines more and more unto a perfect day. Let things be brighter and brighter in your life. The Bible says the entrance of thy words give it light. As we are speaking, there is a light that is entering you. And the Bible also says that in thy light, we shall see light. If you want to see light in your marriage, sit under the light of the message. There is a light when you are in it, you can see light. If you are not in that light, like that a child of Auntie Jemima was saying, it's dark here, it's dark here. When the light came, he saw light and said, it is light. So, now, the, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 4, John says, immediately I want the spirit. I want everyone to go in the spirit. There are sources that you can tap into. The Bible says, with joy you shall draw from the wells of salvation. You can draw your testimony from the wells. Why should the heathen say, where is your God? Because in your life you are borrowing from heathens, nothing is moving, and the, your life is upside down, and you are looking miserable carrying the Bible. Let that stop. Let God bless you. Let God answer you. Let God fill you. Let God use you. Now, this testimony was from right here in, uh, in this church when the, our brother was here, I think, uh, was giving the testimony of how his kidneys were healed miraculously after prayer. Today I say, whosoever is sick, be healed instantly. We are living in the time of instant foods, 
instant photos, instant this. Let there be instant miracles among us. I want to take the arrows, shooting the arrow of deliverance. If your life was stagnant, let there be motion. Shooting arrows for breakthroughs. There shall be a breakthrough in your life. Shooting arrows for a financial breakthrough. Shooting arrows for restoration financially and spiritually. Shooting arrows of release. Your blessing that is held, whether it's your finances, whether it's whatever is held, let there be a release in Jesus' name. We are shooting arrows against demonic assignments in your life. Those assignments that make you get tired when you carry a Bible. That makes you fail to pray. We are shooting those assignments. Those are the spirits that make you not reach your levels. Every time you come to church, you are so tired. That yoke must be broken. We are shooting arrows for victory. Shooting arrows of triumph. Shooting arrows. The spiritual arrows will never miss the mark. As I'm shooting now, there is a target somewhere. There's someone who is saying enough is enough. There's someone who is saying I'm sick and tired of this. Every time when you're about to have a breakthrough, something destroys. Every time when you're almost celebrating, there is a spirit that doesn't want you to, to be happy. In your marriage, you are just one year, two years married and you're already struggling. But I'm shooting an arrow to hit right there. Every arrow shot in a victory is a victory one. Every arrow you are shooting, every I mean you are shooting, every arrow you are shooting is a victory. The arrows of prayer will never miss the target. We are shooting arrows, unstoppable arrows of faith. By faith I say it's unstoppable. Your breakthrough that has been announced service after service. But I don't want to preach people who will say, I mean, I mean, I mean nothing happens. We are not scammers here. What we are carrying works, brother. What we are pray, carrying is practical. I don't want to come to people and say, yeah, God gives houses. They say, amen, then that year ends with nothing. No, no, that thing must end. Your amens must pay you, brother. Isaac, in chapter 26, he sowed in the year of drought and he reaped hundredfold. And the Bible says, you shall plant in one year and reap in the same year. I'm planting this testimony and you shall reap it this year, not next year. The Bible says, this year you shall eat things that grow on their own. Let testimonies grow without your cranking. We are shooting arrows of provision. Let God provide. Let him drop a handful on purpose for you. Sister, your marriage is there for you. A good brother, you cannot wait for long and just get just something that is not a brother, that is brotherish. Let God give you a proper thing that you have waited for until you say it was worth the waiting. You can't wait for a job for a long time only for that job to take you away from church on Sunday. We are shooting arrows for healing. If you came here with a sick body, I declare in Jesus' name. The son of righteousness is risen with the healing in its wings. You shall be whole. We want to block the devil's evil plans on your life. Every plan that they say in your family things end like this, you are from a heavenly family. All those attacks in your night, goodbye to those attacks. God is roaring in your life. Whatever cycles were riding your life, they end here. You are in Goshen, brother. You are not in Egypt there. Though Goshen was in Egypt, Egypt was in Goshen. Things that were visiting Egypt were frogs, but things that were visiting Goshen were angels. What visits you is not like visit other family members. Every dream that comes and is not glorifying God. He has come to the wrong address. And I take the blood of Jesus and say that dream end right now. You're always fearing to die. What's wrong, brother? Let those fear go. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. The devil don't care how much you holler. And um, how much you scream. The, it doesn't mean a thing to him. You recognize uh, faith only. But if a person has sinned, 
and something in their life that they, they, they should not have done. Yes. You can pour gallons of oil yes. and you could scream and cast out oh, devils. Yeah. Uh, uh, they will never live until that person makes right. Yeah. So we want to hit yeah. the strongholds. Yeah. Demonic strongholds are where the devil has built concrete. And when a preacher is going to that area, you also say, preacher, stop. Because it's a stronghold. You can jump and dance this side, but when you get to that one, it's a stronghold. You can celebrate this and that and get this and that, but when you get to this area, it's a stronghold. Today, I want to come to the stronghold that are holding your life. I'm feeling a crash of the stronghold. Now, one day, you will step into what you have believed. You cannot just believe and believe forever. One day, you shall say, this is that. One day, brother, what you've been praying from January. As I told you, we are getting to the nine months. You've been pregnant for nine months almost. It's time to deliver. Now, faith-filled prayers are unstoppable forces. What I believe, there was a time when Papa was saying that uh, when... Billy Graham came to a place. They said he came with God and went away with God. Yeah. That is a gifted man. Yeah. But when Abraham came, he left people with God. Yeah. What we are trying to yeah. do now is not for people to look for my number. Yeah. But I want to say what we have, the same message, the same courts yeah. that are bringing results in my life should bring results. And I am asking God that this younger generation will do more than us. Because when the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of God raises the standard. Today, may God anoint young people here that shall see dreams, that shall dream, that shall see visions. Today, may God anoint sisters who shall speak in tongues. God is looking for such to worship Him in truth and spirit. If you are here, God is looking for you as I'm preaching now. While Peter is speak, they were filled with the Holy Ghost as I'm preaching now. Let something touch you and anoint you and break your yokes. The promises of God are assets. The promises of God are convertible. You can convert them to anything. When God makes a promise, it's going to materialize. So we are shooting arrows. Every prayer arrow will leave a mark. Every prayer arrow, the prayer room is a training ground for archers of faith. We want to train girls before they get married to be warriors so that they don't get warriors there. We want to train boys before they get married to know how to consult God. Every arrow that we are shooting is a seed that is sown. The arrow that you are shooting, some of you are not even speaking, but that thing crying you like, like Hannah, not even lips moving. But something is saying, Savior! That deep calling to that deep in you. A result will come. I've seen many times in my life, even even today, yesterday when I was coming here, yeah. I desire something. Yeah. Sometimes God doesn't give me a chance to ask. Yeah. It just drops there. Yeah. Yeah. God knows that I'm busy. I'm, I have to be in the airport. I have to, before I say, Lord, it says, it shall come to pass. Yeah. Before they ask. Yeah. As you are meditating on what you came here for, I advise you to add more. Because when you come to a shop, you come with a shopping list. Yes. But you go out with goods. Yes. Now, we are shooting arrows for spiritual warfare. Yes. Pulling down strongholds of darkness. Yes. You know, all of you, you hate sin, but there is a sin that easily besets you. Yes. There are brothers who fight sin as the whole thing called sin, but leave a little detail of sin that is pleasurable. Yes. Those are the sins that we want to break, not for two weeks only. Yes. We are not taking you on the bail. Jesus did not pay the bail. He paid the price. You are free. We are shooting arrows for, uh, of declaration, speaking things into existence. I don't believe negative things. The negative things that you spoke, you saw them happening. There are some people who believe that they are suffering because some auntie somewhere said you will never be married. But now I'm busy saying you shall be married. There are some people who believe that our ah, brother, they are theologists, uh, that one I know. But when I say they are angels, they say, okay, okay. Believe the positive things. We are shooting arrows of intercession. If you have a teenage boy who is now getting lazy to come to church, we want him to come. 
We need him singing specials here. Listen, let me say this in the spirit. Your son who is in UK, wherever they are, even in Zimbabwe, who will surprise you and call you and say, Mama, you know where I am today. I'm in church. That drug son, that one. That one who is addicted who will surprise you and say, Mama, let me tell you where I am. I'm right with the pastor here. All is well. Don't worry about me anymore. I can worry about you, mama. That are you praying the way you used to pray? That son will start leading you to higher levels. We are shooting arrows of thanking God and praising God. In prayer meetings, there is no play. Many people come with a prayer request, but come with thanksgiving. I will enter his courts with thanksgiving in my heart. Shooting arrows to bring back what was lost. Shooting arrows for reconciliation, restoring lost relations. Yes. Sister, all the time there is someone who seems interested, then they lose interest. They come interested, then they lose interest. But they seem to be wanting you in that job, then they say, we will call you. We will call you. That must end when God starts a work. Do you know that statement of the word? can do more even than me praying for you without you knowing this. Because you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. The truth shall not only, it shall make you free, not just set you free. You, you become free from inside out. If you are based with a truth that doesn't set you free, there's something wrong with that truth. The arrows for divine acceleration. When you do something, let it be done in phenomenal speed. Yeah. That in this time, yeah. it is not known in your family. Yeah. That in one year, yeah. you take all these strides. Yeah. I say this year is never late. Yeah. Even if you have 12 from January, yeah. we are shooting arrows yeah. to break your stagnation, yeah. for breakthroughs, to break satanic territorial devils. There must be an area where you say, this is my area. This is my child. This is my marriage. Satan, you have no right here. Even if you chase a dog when it gets to his home, it turns back and say, not here. You can't be chased by devils even in your own sofas, even, in your, even here in church, you feel a backache. No! I want to break demonic assignments in your life. And, as, and declare victory over spiritual strongholds, protection over harm. How can the devil harm you when you are a threat to the devil? You have power to tread upon serpents, you have power to bind the mamba. Don't take these good quotes, only use them. I've been in territories in Muslim countries where I saw strongholds collapsing. I was in France the other day and I just moved with my family and said, I was supposed to preach in France on Sunday in, in Paris. I told my family that our ah, brothers in Rome are calling me. So we booked tickets, expensive tickets to go to Rome. When we go to the airport, the storm started and we were denied to enter when we were paid. I think it was around uh, more than 4,000 USD. And then they said, pay another for the bags. They said we were supposed to check in online. So I knew something is wrong there. I phoned the pastor in Paris and said, oh, it seems I'm not getting to Rome anymore. Yeah. Uh, then he says, ah, but person, there is now a preacher from Cameroon who is taking your place. Yeah. I said, fine, I will come to church. Yeah. Uh, early morning, the pastor phoned me and says, the pastor from Cameroon said, no, I'm not going to preach when Doc is there. Yeah. Come and take the place. Yeah. I stood at the pulpit and I was amazed. Yeah. As I stood yeah. there, demons screamed yeah. and said, why is this man here? We tried to send him to Rome. Yeah. We tried to chase him from France. My wife was saying, but pastor, when we, when we were going to Rome, did you notice that there was something wrong? I said, why doesn't God speak clearly before you lose money? <laughs> you know, a demon spoke from one girl and said, we had to send someone yesterday to tell this girl, they sent someone from Ghana to tell her sister that don't attend the Sunday service, it's dangerous. And I think no one knows me in France. Yes. And I've learned this, which I'm going to teach you now. Yes. How dangerous you are yes. as a child of God. 
as a daughter of the king. It's too cheap for you to complain about demons at your level. As a commander, as a warrior in the spirit, it's too cheap for you to complain about those dreams. No, no, no. They are levels of a sister in the message. Spiritual husband is not for your level. You can just tell and say, Satan, you are finished. It's too cheap for you to complain about things that attack you. Attacking from what angle? The voltage in you. I want you to know. Let that get to your spirit. Because when you know that, you don't need someone for deliverance. The power is in you. Greater is it that is within you than the one in the world. There is no nyamas to children of God. There is no condemnation to those that are in Christ. There is no cycles. There is no chains. Spiritual growth and maturity. Victory over sin and strongholds. The prophet used to say, I want to hit the bull's eye. When we are shooting, we don't want to shoot, sir. That thing will run and die after a year. That will get sick from the sword. We don't want to just give a devil a deadly wound, but that, he, that he, he's still attacking, he's still able to throw. No, what I'm saying is that even if I don't pray for you, the devil now has lost the formula. When we get a church of such people, that's why Brabham says, in five minutes when I was in Vandali, five minutes, he walked across the congregation. And people pack their crushes. I don't know if there's someone here who was in, with me in Philippus. Maybe those ones are no longer here. Those were with, who was, Paul was not there in Philippus. You were there, and In Philippus, we stood there preaching. And people started putting their crushes alone. I, I did not lay hands on them. But there was one who was on a mattress. There. And you know, I said, Lord, Please help that one. I'm stopping because of something. I'm coming. I don't want to be to, to be hard for that. There's a sister that God wants to set free now. There's something when you are not preaching to benches. There's signals from you and signals from me. Allow that network to flow. But if it comes again, I will come there. <laughs> so that sister was wishing, you know, that is with the gift that God has given you, you seem to now know precision. You grow in what God has given you. But that one, one thing, when I tell you big testimonies that have happened, it doesn't mean 100% of people I pray for things happen. There are people I pray for earnestly. And the sovereign God seems not to answer. He is not losing anything. God is preparing that person so that that answer is permanent. One of the people, Brother Paul is a witness, one of the people who had walked 14 kilometers with two crashes like this. When others threw their crashes, that old Madara went with his like that. When my father was driving the blue truck, my father was there. We, he says, this man walked from Lom. My father drove him to his home state. Yes. When he got there and he tried to close his gate, one crash fell yeah. and the other one fell. Then he ran around the house and it was over. Yes. <clears throat> some of you discover now, some of you will discover at home. But 100%. When I was now preaching at Women's Club in Pumula, yes. what a surprise. Do you know God will surprise you this week? I was preaching. I thought God did not do anything about that woman. But while I was preaching in Pumula, someone came in the room there and says, I've looked for you until I was told that they are in this house. From Philippus, she came and said, I came here to give my testimony. I'm the one who was lying on the bed. The service ended as if nothing happened. There is no as if nothing here. When the devil does something, there is no as if nothing happened. When demons come on a person, there is no as if nothing happened. And when God does something, there is no as if here. So, 
She says, when I went home, in a dream, God came with the power. By the way, we don't finish here. We'll be finished at home there. <coughs> we are shooting arrows. That you don't fear anything. The Bible says you should not fear the arrow that flies by day. I want to break the devourer and losses. I hate working for repairs. Even losing five runs to me is a spiritual something. Because the court says, I'll rebuke the devourer. You know, when they lost gems, the Bible says the devil, Herod proceeded further. When you lose something and you are quiet about that loss, the devil proceeds further. But prayer was made without ceasing. So the feather stopped right there. You notice when you just lost your joy, the devil proceeded further. In that confusion about what happened in your marriage, you lost man. In that confusion, the thieves broke in. In that confusion, but there is no feather from now on. <coughs> it's a night of wrestlings. Someone has to wrestle with the spirit today and say, Lord, I'm taking mine. I've been in the message for 10 years. But I'm told that when Jesus dealt with disciples three and a half years, books could not contain what God has done in those years. Let me declare, today you must pray until something happens. You praying, you can pray. They went to shoot the arrow of deliverance of the Holy Spirit. There is something called prayer paralysis. When it's time for prayer, you yawn. But when it's time for gospel music, you are manuring, right? That paralysis, that spiritual paralysis, when you are paralyzed, when God tells you to step out in faith, you know what happens? Sleep paralysis. You are trying to scream, but you can't scream. You are trying to switch on the light, but you can't. That's what is happening in natural life. Some people are trying to overcome, but they, they are, God says, step in faith, then something will encounter your lap. That paralysis must leave you. That is called spiritual paralysis and decision paralysis and financial paralysis. But you must come to God whenever you really get to pressing. God comes on the scene in that desperate hour. There is no prayer resistance situation. When I was coming here, I just got this um, testimony of a sister when I was preaching on Wednesday. Says that she was very sick with dizziness and headache. Then when the same woman went out praying, she says there was heat in her body. She went outside to get some air. The heat was still burning. The fire put by God will burn. It's not going to burn you. It's not going to burn the bush. It's going to burn whatever is destroying you. It says when she came back, she was totally healed. Ah, your testimony is coming. You are not born to hear other people's testimonies. Your testimony is over too. And I say in Jesus' name, receive your breakthrough. Receive your miracle. Receive your testimony. While I'm feeling the anointing now, I tell you, it's coming your way. <clears throat> if you lay your husband's or unsaved one before God, and then pray, God will make a way somewhere. When a mother prays, with that strain of motherhood and say, Lord, remember my boy. That power of a mother on her knees. That boy will phone you. I was surprised. It was last week. I declared like this and said, that boy will phone you. Ah, someone called me from UK and said, my boy phoned me. He's in America. He says, for two years, he had never phoned. And he phoned me and said, guess where I am? I'm in church. The boy disappeared in America there. And they sent a prayer request. And I just said, sister, your boy. I remember recently I was giving a testimony of a, someone who had the cancer of the lungs, of the liver, and of the spleen. I remember that testimony happened when we were in the all night here. When Napra was reminding me. I spoke to you about it. I said, I told somebody in UK that I will see you in the meetings. 
and the men left the hospital and came to the meetings. But I declared it among you. Then the testimony now has happened. The doctors can't see the cancer. There are things that we must say. Sister, I said this is nothing but the truth, and it happened. Uh, even John Sharit, this I declare because they shall be John Sharit. Already we have brother Sharit here, but I mean John Sharit, many of them here. You can't be in that state forever. You can't be brother almost. Almost got that tender. Almost in the interview. Almost blessed. You're always near, brother. Oh, I almost got it. Almost went to America. You almost. We are not brother almost. That thing that was a thread remaining to make you get there, yeah. let it enter you now. Yeah. Your situation cannot continue. Let me declare in the spirit. How long shall you be in that situation? When God visits you, there are things that disappear and things that appear. Let some things disappear in your life. 2003, when I received the Holy Spirit, I was so shy. My, my sister is surprised because I never used even to stand before a congregation passing. Yeah. But guys in the canyon. Yeah. <laughs> there are things that disappear. There is no fear when faith comes in. Yeah. I want that boldness to enter your sister and say, I claim my husband. Yeah. We are about to pray. Your current state that doesn't glorify God must change. I don't believe in the supernatural life of William Branham and natural life of believers. Yeah. We are not watching a movie, brother. Yeah. When you are reading the spoken word, after reading one paragraph of supernatural, there must be one paragraph of happenings. Because he says that the end time message meets the end time conditions. Your condition even if you're born under a, a vow where you're secure or cool, cool, but this one, we are giving them as a, a ransom. They won't be married. This one, whatever they said, I will tell you before you were born, Jesus said, in blessing, I'll bless you. The other one spoke from the fifth dimension, the other one spoke from the seventh dimension. I was giving this testimony about cancer of Kokom Tetra, which is. Um, my relative. She was healed of cancer in 2012. She still has healed in old age. Yeah. I was saying that your testimony yeah. will bring birth to another testimony until there are sukurus of the testimony, about cousin, the testimony, about the testimony, all the brothers and sisters of that testimony until there is a clan from that testimony. Won't it? This one will follow the Liani testimony. This one it looks like it's like, like the other one. It's from the same family because it shall be victory after victory, blessing after blessing, breakthrough after breakthrough, answer after answer, testimony after testimony from now onwards. So when we give that testimony, that's where we get to this testimony of this family that was rejoicing. When the brother was in the hospital, they, they said, no, he's going to come out. Brother, this drama the devil doesn't understand. There are people that you can't make sad. When I was coming here, the devil attacked me and I was coughing too much. I said, ah, I'll cough and preach yeah. until one of the things will stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, training your children yeah. to rejoice yeah. in such a hard circumstance, yeah. it's a mother's job, that one. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you see now, the brother now when we went to Scotland, he drove six hours. Now when there's an all-night prayer meeting, you say, ah, it's far. <laughs> that kind, not, not, not such, a, such a person think they will receive something from God. Yeah. Let me tell you, from today, training you just to know yeah. that when there's a spiritual thing, yeah. sacrifice praise. Yeah. Me, I come from Zimbabwe. Tomorrow I'm in Zambia. Yeah. On Monday, 9 o'clock, I have a patient. 
Then you are here saying, ah, this time is far, I will wait for the stream. <laughs> we serve a miracle working God. He never fails, he never disappoints, he never forsakes. He loves you. God is too good and too faithful to leave you alone. He has a track record. Here is another secret that I use in my life why I can never be down. I can never be down. I don't even know how to behave sick. If you know there is something in my body, you know, the, the find the bones. Here is the secret. Always have a track record of what God has done to you. When you are walking in your room, say, ah, that so far was from that prayer meeting. Oh, this little boy here was sick and God, when those, when you see the bear and the lion, you can say Goliath is down also. Look at this testimony here. Babam prays for someone with a lung problem. The doctors go and they say, ah, there's a new set of lungs. God can create a new set of lungs. Now, Abraham is told in Genesis 13 from verse 14 that the Lord says, after he appeared to Abraham, says, lift your eyes from where you, from the place where you are now. From your little cottage, lift your eyes and see where you are going. From that shoe that is torn, lift up your eyes where you are. It's your starting point, but that is not your final station. With your little money that you are saying, how shall I go back home after this service? From where you are. Where you are, you are thinking that uh, it's man and again and landlord. From where you are. Here is your promotion. Your testimonies for bus fare will become a testimony for a car. Your testimonies for rentals will become a testimony for a house. Your testimony must grow. The prophet says, God's message has always been a message of deliverance before judgment. Noah had a deliverance. Lot had a deliverance. And through it, it was a message of deliverance. So someone must be delivered today. The Egyptians that you see, you shall see them no more. Let me read this because I want to charge you. There are some people who think because I'm old, it's understandable to have arthritis. Don't allow age to put things that are not scriptural in your body. You are not a temple of diseases, you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They that are planted in the house of the Lord shall, be, shall flourish in the courts of the Konape church. church. They shall bear fruit in old age. They are ever full of sap and green. In old age, you can be blessed. There's no wrapping up in the message. We are accelerating. 50 years, you can start being a millionaire. 50 years, you can have houses at 60 years. Don't, don't start lowering your expectations and saying, I'm getting old. No, no. This scripture here, I will tell you a miracle about this scripture. Amen. On Sunday, I was talking to a minister of this gospel who wanted a child badly. And he got a child. And then somehow, in the negligence of doctors, the child had brain septics. And the child died. They attempted so many, I think, six or seven miscarriages. Wow. Then they got this child, and then they said, finally, Satan, you are finished. Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed that your only testimony yeah. Yeah. is so much under attack? Yeah. Yeah. Zarepa, the woman, now has, uh, Shunamite, now has a child, and the devil is going for that child. Yeah. Your little thing that you have, the devil is trying to fight that little thing that you got from church. Yeah. So the boy died. Then in a dream, God visits the wife. She's old now. And says, they shall bear fruit in old age. 
Then, as the husband was starting for a sermon, God says, Psalms 92. So, when the man was reading Psalms 92 to go and preach, the wife says, I was given Psalms 92 in a dream. And the child was born on the death day of the other child. I was praying for the child on Sunday. <laughs> the very area where you lost something, something was proud in the very area. I'm done with you. You shall see it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are never too old for God to do a new thing. Let me also tell you, age gracefully. Refuse to lose things. Say, Moses was 120 years old. His natural force and eyes were not dim. You know, wearing glasses because saying, you understand I'm above 40. The prophet says 40 and what? No, no. Yeah. Caleb was 84, 85. Yeah. He says, I'm ready to go in and go out. Yeah. All people here in church, I want to bless you today. Yeah. You shall compete with young boys and beat them. Yes, the Bible says, Joshua, thou art old and stricken in years. But there remains more crown. Don't wind up. Don't wind up. As old as you are, there is a testimony for you. The Holy Spirit covered all ages. Your young men shall do this. Your old men shall. Your old women. Your old, there is a portion for you in the Holy Ghost. I do not need to have a spiritual plateau to say, God used me. But now, you know, ah, these days... You, is flat. In your prayer room is flat. In your account is flat. I keep going higher. When I get to a higher plane, a higher plane. When I get to a higher plane, a higher plane. The song didn't say a higher plane. Your own plane. Did you notice in the parable of the fig tree that the Bible says the man planted the, of the mustard seed, said planted it in his own field. And it became the biggest. In your own life, in your own territory, have your own testimony. Are we ready for something? Let me give you this, if just to boost your faith. If God held up prayer, as up as up was, when he repented, God heard him as up as he was. He will hear you today. If God gave demons that us to say, yes, our prayer request, we want to enter pigs. And you say, I want to enter courtship. And God says, no. Demon says, we would like to enter pigs. You say, I want to enter courtship. I want to enter marriage. And God says, no. You are better than pigs. If God... Give Jezebel a space of repentance. You are going to get a chance. If God heard the sinful Nineveh, and you hear your cry. If God used a donkey, he can use you. If God revealed himself to a, 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 a pagan prophet like ba Balaam. Balaam saw God. And there's a scripture about Balaam declaring even how much I will come a star from Jacob. You have never seen a vision or something like a vision. If God saved Rabbi Halot, he can save you today. If God paid the debt of sin, of your sins, he can pay your debts. If God removed the weight of sin in your life, he can remove every lamp in your life. If God removed the stain of sin in your life, he can remove stain of sicknesses from sugar and whatever. If God removed, I want sugar, let me stay there. Sometimes you say something, then you hear an echo back. Where demons say, leave our person. That sugar must go away. Ah, that one I will find, that one. 
If God healed the brokenness of your heart, he can heal the brokenness of your body. If God freed you from chains of sin, he can free you from addictions. If God restored your relationship with him, he can restore your relationship with your brothers and sisters. All those who are fighting with their family, brothers and sisters, there shall be peace in the valley. Do you know that there are some nights where some aunties with their rags and without shoes sat in a meeting and said, Uyu, 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 uyu. We are the, in this night saying, Uyu, 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 be blessed. Uyu, 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 be blessed. You be blessed. You. This night is powerful. Your marriage is coming because of this night. Your visa is coming because of this night. Your answer is coming because of this night. Your breakthrough is coming because of this night. And it's unstoppable in the name of Jesus Christ. I know you want to pray. Something is burning in you. I know you are ready now. Yes. If you lifted the case of sin, he can lift the case of poverty. Brother, from a Holy Ghost meeting, you just get there, the landlord says, you know, give me my money. You say, hallelujah, hallelujah. He say, ah, shut up. I said, my rent is increasing. You say, but my faith is increasing. Say, no, no, no. May God break away that poverty. If God wash away your past, he can wash away your pain. If God open doors of heaven for you, he can open doors of opportunity. Do you believe that something will start happening to you? Allow me maybe 10 more minutes of, of, of running something. Now, I feel charged already. And then we launch into something together. You know, there was a time when we would watch football until we almost get into the field, wanting to kick, you know. You, you won't be seeing that you are entering into, into the field. Then someone says, backwards. That's how I'm feeling. I'm almost entering something, but I'm saying, look, wait now. We'll get there now. There is something that happens during prayer. Unseen things. When Baba was praying, a sword came in. When Daniel was praying, Prince of Persia was falling. Something is falling in your life. How do you explain that all of your workmates are promoted and only you? You are the one who is punctual. You are the one who is doing the best. But just something doesn't want to to reach a certain level. You love your husband and you do extra, extra, but he just cheats. Those things must end in the life of a believer. When the prophet was praying there, while he was praying, he discovered something. He saw an eagle marking the rock there. There is something you shall discover in the war room. I wanted to begin to live as though your prayers have already been answered. And God will open doors that you have never seen. I want it to be a revival, a Holy Ghost revival, an atmospheric revival, a repentance revival, a prayer revival, and a tapes revival where you start listening to tapes every day. Let me tell you, where you are right now, you're already anointed for your victory. You're already anointed for your deliverance. You are already anointed to win the battle. When you get to the interview, there is a glory that shall pick you. There is a glory that shall locate you. There is a time when I was having my trip to UK. Brother Chaka says, no, there is an emergency in Fundis. Can you pray for this person before you go to UK? I said, no, I won't be able, I have to go to the airport. At 6 a.m. they came home before I left home. 6 a.m. With the person, they said, this brother, things are not moving in his life. He applied to go to Poland. Things are not moving. Yeah. I just went to a study there and they said, I yeah. Let me just pray for him. No. While we were praying, something stopped us. Yeah. And the prayer became a different prayer. Yeah. I prophesied in that prayer and said, brother, we are done. I think I told you that was how I'm preaching. I told you that as I was preaching. That we have done with your case. 
When I landed in the UK, Brother Chaka sent me a testimony that the visa for Poland has been given. Last time in this all night, when we had barrier there, there's a sister who's looking at me right now, charged with expectation. I told her that things are not moving, but things will move. Believe it, my sister and God will answer you. When she left this place, we say the devil is exposed. She found a ring under a mattress. A ring that was used to do things in her life. We started battles. She, she was shocked. I told her, carry it with your Bible. The snare will be broken. From that time, she has been wrestling with a lot of things. But when I was coming here, she declared how things started moving in her life. <laughs> God cannot start failing with you. No. No. I say no. Me, I was not me that you see now. There was a lot of poverty around me. There was a lot of failures around me. But when I found this message, I found the great dike. You are already anointed, my brother, for your exploits. You are already anointed to break records. You are already anointed to do greater works. You are already anointed for your promotion. You are already anointed to conquer and overcome. Already anointed for the supernatural breakthrough. Already anointed for the miraculous turn around. Your life will turn around. This is the night where Saul becomes Paul. This is the night. Where Jacob becomes Israel. <laughs> You're anointed to radiate. When Moses came from the old light, from the mountain, he didn't know that his face was shining. People told him, you are shining. What that you are shining? <laughs> Your life will be shining. God told me something when I was coming here. He told me, you have a portion also. Even for the ministers. There are young ministers that shall do things that you have never seen. We are not carrying juju here. When you see cancer is going, there is no juju that takes away cancer. It's not by might, it's not by power. There is a spirit that enters a man. And I can tell you there can be sisters who can move with a healing revival. I tell you. How did I know you were here? I knew. Your answer will come. God bless you. There is something that shocks me in the ministry. There are things that you know, but you are not knowing that you know, but you are know. I knew that Sister Nonche is here. But I had not seen her. But why? She will know it later. All right, let me get to it now soon. Now, you are anointed to make a difference and leave a mark. Don't leave a stain that you ever... When they are burying you, they say, here lies the remains of someone who was conquered by poverty. Has been tabby and Amsa. You want a sister, Una Priscilla, Priscilla's mother, lending in UK. I said, Look, new things are being declared. Lausa lend them shatter. You're going to lend where you want to lend. When you believe for something and you get to that something, do like Abraham. Abraham believed Canaan. When he got to Canaan, he looked for a city whose builder and maker was God. But he has arrived in Canaan. But the desire became more. He says, this is the Canaan, but I'm now looking for a city. But when he left, he was looking for this Canaan. What you looked for when you were coming here? Add more. 
you are anointed for unparalleled greatness, anointed for unequaled excellence. Records are meant to be broken. People who break records are people who even admire the man who made that record. Someone who loves you, send boy, it says, you send boy, he says, he's my idol, but I want to break his record. I love Brother Branham, but he says, watch the dead pool then. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Sister Haiti gave us a record, but you must break that record. That's why teaching is very important. I think Sister Haiti was supposed to say, um, healing, salvation of my boys plus healing of Edith plus the million dollar plus the plus ask in abundance that your joy may be full <laughs> there is no window shopping on the promise of God I want to by this statement I want to burst the mystery why you think they are powerful brothers and and ordinary brothers. There is no such a thing in the message. There is no low callings and high callings. There is no equals that fly like chickens and equals that fly like equals. All equals are equals. If you are an equal, change your realms. By the time you call me, it should be a testament. Don't depend on me. I expect you to do better than me. I'm busy. I have to be in Zambia, to, but you are there. You have enough power. We will have failed if we raise people who depend on gifted people. But when the fire enters you, brother, I has not seen, he has not heard. But here is the mystery in this window shopping. Do you know why? It's known that every mall has more window shoppers than shoppers. Because in a figure shop and lifts that handbag and looks underneath, oh, how many runs? Put it back. People are not ready to pay the price. Yeah. That's why they are window shoppers. When they see the price, they put it back. Yeah. But today, be ready to pay the price yeah. for your miracle. Yeah. If it means confessing, listen. Yeah. You don't disappoint us by confessing bad things. Yeah. You disappoint us by keeping those things. Yeah. But today, we are shopping and in everything is yours. Healing is yours. And let me declare this also, that every arrow, invisible arrow, that carries your name shall be broken. And if you are here and you want a child, that child will come. It's, it's just a season for us. It's just a season. You saw Valentine. And when I went to Scotland, also there's a sister I prayed for last time, last year. This time she didn't even sing. She's heavy with a child. God can do it for you. God can restore. Refuse the devil's terms and condition and don't quit before your miracle and refuse to be discouraged. The Bible says, if you call on the Lord, you shall never be ashamed. Believing for your courtship and you'll be ashamed. Believing that God heals, there was a time during the week, that week, you know when I'm about to come for an assignment like this, I face arrows myself. Yeah. My boy was attacked. That boy is, yes, my name is called Mobile. He doesn't behave sick. He'll be playing, he'll be coughing and staggering and he'll be driving his cars and he has this fighting spirit in him that he, you can't pull him down by sickness. Yeah. So my wife says, take him to hospital as he is. He says, I want to drive my cars. So we went driving to Mata Day. When we reached KFC, God says, no Mata Day for the boy. I was with Bernice and them. We said, let's go back. If God says, no Mata Day, we're by the gate there. Yeah. I tell you, yeah. the boy was coughing uncontrollably. Stopped for three hours. He only coughed later at night, just a bit. But for three hours, the person was coughing uncontrollably. We said, Imali Evangelie Mata Day. May God give you back the money that you spend on doctors. Yeah. Testimony. I was in Kenya. This sister who is having that baby there, 
She was told that there is a fibroid. When you are supposed to have a pregnancy, there is a, a pregnancy of a flesh, of a, something without form, taking where they should be formed. Something that is just standing where your child should be standing. So they say that they cannot have a child. I remember in that prayer line, declaring many things. And she says, when you left, there is the child there. One day you will take a photo with what you are praying for today. Sister Nonte took a photo. We were at, at Pizana, right? And she went with a small car there. In the mud, it went through. Our car, four by four, was struggling. And then I blessed them and said, I give you better cars. She took a photo with it. Here is a testimony of a transformed marriage. Here is a testimony. This testimony, you need to read it and read it. You know, this sister had myopia. She had blood pressure. She, she had uh, uh, insomnia. She had headaches. She had so many things on one person. She was from Uganda. But she had of the meetings in Kenya. And she was healed of all those things. When God starts working... He does it. When you say, God, can you heal my eyes? He knows there's another thing you didn't say. You do it. Another testimony. You know, God will surprise you with miracles. This is Mzuguru here, this nephew of mine. My sister Sam was barren for 10 years. After prayer, there is the little one there. Sister Dube with their testimony also. On, in the last two years, we had more than Oh, 14. You know, last time in the broadcast, I said 14. Yeah. Then the people started inboxing me from Australia, from ever. I started counting 18 or so. Yeah. They said, you forgot mine. You forgot mine. You forgot mine. Yeah. Things are going to sprout in your life like that. Yeah. He sent his head and healed them. Yeah. For those who want courtship, I gave the testimony of Sister Precious when she was 47 years and then that testimony uh, gave another testimony. Amen. And the devil, now, now we've had many, many, the other one was 52 years, the other one was 47, we have eight of those yeah. who are in old age. Yeah. When I was coming here, I prayed for another one in Zambia, I was going to see them. Yeah. And the brother was in Dubai. Got interested. Yeah. Before prayer, no one was interested. Let me tell you this one. Your long-awaited testimony will manifest. Your long-awaited breakthrough will manifest. Your long-awaited victory will manifest. Your long-awaited level will manifest. Your long-awaited restoration will manifest. Your long-awaited deliverance. Your long-awaited miracle. Your long-awaited answers will manifest. Your long-awaited divine connection. Your long-awaited doors. You can't be in the same place all, all, all the time, but your faith knows no defeat. Your faith will defy your background. Your faith knows no limit. Your faith knows no failure. Your faith will take you there. Yeah. You know when, when, when I was in the restaurants there in that other countries, I think it's also here in South, they give you a, a picture. Something that when your order is ready, it vibrates. You may, you may sit there quietly waiting for your courtship, but then something vibrates in a service. Yeah. Then you stand with boldness and you go there yeah. and give them their thing. And take your thing. You go there and say, Lord, I give you this prayer. I take my answer. Something is vibrating now. You must move to the manifestation. So I was saying that testimony, then gave birth to other testimonies. We prayed for Brother Ngata when he had a crisis. Some of you saw his, this testimony, bought a house for 1.3 million USD cash. Those who don't know how we, how we wrestled in prayer don't understand. Balankata was in a crisis. But when we prayed, God moved elements. I'm not talking about 1.3 million bond, no. He went to banks looking for loans. They did not want to give him because of who he was. and He had no track record, he had nothing. But when God moved elements... 
when he went to 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 write an RTGS a, a, a transaction to buy that building cash, yeah. banks started calling him saying, "Can we have a meeting with you?" Yeah. Can, people were not interested in you. Yeah. We start saying, uh, we start seeing value. Yeah. Right in Sydney, Australia, someone with ulcers got answers and was healed there. Sister mother had a cat that was not working and we told her that the mother in law of the prophet had a watch that was not working and, and a, a fridge and prayed for it and it moved. Yes. Amen. Ah, but I'm full of the motors. I'm going to pray for it, eh? I'm going to pray all things that you want, but you will say extra, extra. Yeah. We'll pray for your car and pray for a better one. Yeah. Now I promise I'm closing. I'm close to closing. You see all these seeds that vanish? I like this testimony from the convention. I like preaching to such people. I declared on that Sunday and said, speak to your mountain. This sister had a child that could not sit at a spinal problem. Yeah. She came all the way from Mashing and said, I'm not going back with that child having a problem. Yeah. After service, do you know many things happen by what you do after service? Yeah. She went and spoke to the child and said, Child, yeah. sit. Yeah. And she didn't fear to demonstrate it in church. Yeah. And it ended as a, as a celebration of thousands of people celebrating. We're going to celebrate you. Here is Valentine. He used to come and preach for you here. Nine years without the child. When the, when the pregnancy happened, you know, we said, let's keep it. Because there's another one among you also who we said, let's keep it. I won't say her name because I know she's here. It has been... I think it's 10 or so years yeah. with there. Yeah. First got dissolved here, cis, polycystic. Hallelujah. And now, we say don't say it because some people can disturb things. Yeah. There's something that happened yeah. in the mountain when Peter saw transfiguration. Jesus says, don't tell anyone yeah. before I go. Yeah. You know, Peter wanted to say, I want to, I'm about to, to ask, the, ask the Lord, when are you going? Because <laughs> they wanted to say it, but I won't say it. But with value, we kept to the last day. On the day of the operation, I came to the pulpit and said, It's Vale. <laughs> the church rejoiced and rejoiced. After nine years, there is the beautiful baby. What silences critics of the message is not arguments about this and that. These are the things, brother. There's a sister that I, I gave her house in Kenya. I just flew to Pulawayo. Miraculous, this is the house and the long testimony there. So when I spoke about the testimony of Sister Precious, there's this sister also was 42 years old, Sarah. She just sent me a message also when I was coming here. We declared that even if you are 42 years old, sister, when I left Kenya, there it is. But again, I want to say this about testimonies. When I give a testimony, don't mistake that I'm a power or something. Imagine the local pastor, what he will have done. Because many times we give a testimony as if the local pastor was doing nothing. Many other saints will have been praying for that person. You can, can't come from Zimbabwe and just say, it's over, sister. Then you, you take all the glory as if the local pastor was not praying. We are a team. There is no one person with all the powers. In any congregation, when you see a testimony, it's unfair to just ascribe it to one prayer warrior. It's unfair. No matter how gifted that person is, there are sisters who are not sleeping. And again, me, I'm just from Zimbabwe. I pray one time. Yeah. The pastor of that person yeah. was fasting and praying with that person. Yeah. 
This sister now was 54 years old. In the time of COVID when husbands were under quarantine, she got hers. When we gave that testimony, Sister Rejoice, who was 40 years old, in Kokwe got hers. When we got that testimony, Sister Mango is in Zambia, who was 47 years old, got hers. When we got that testimony, our new convert on YouTube, who was 47 years old, got hers also. As I said also, when I gave that testimony, the other one in Zambia that I will see tomorrow. Something is happening. Now with all this, ah, let's say time fails me. There was a time when Paul said time fails me. Let me close this and we stand to our feet. Let's do business now. Brother, after all what we have said about God, does God have an issue with you that your matters will remain hanging forever? Every problem in the Bible, every testament started with a problem. Yes. Every testament starts with I was. Yes. So, but I say your, your whatever, your situation has expired now. In the name of Jesus, we'll pull doors. No matter how old you are, you shall be married. In the name of Jesus, if you're almost getting this tender, almost getting this, I say, right, this very month, God will give you a desire. In the name of Jesus, there is no situation that should follow you and harass you and you don't want it. There is no dream that shall follow you everywhere and harass you. In the name of Jesus, be free from those dreams. Are you ready to pray now? If you are here and you need the Holy Spirit, this is your night to receive the Holy Spirit. I wanted to point and say from that time something happened. Before we came here, God knew exactly you by name. As a newcomer, God has forgiven you all your sins. Under the blood, God will set you free. If your marriage is not working, God will make it work. If your children are wayward, God will bring those children. It's not your arguments that will bring them, but God will bring them. If you are here and you are given something in another service, a minister came here sweating and gave you something, and that thing has not materialized, I bring it. I bring it. Give me my mountain that God spoke of in that day. I have my things here. My wife was surprised what God was doing when I was leaving home. Ah, you know in the Bible what happened? There is a son of the prophet who wanted to go and preach. He wanted to preach about how broken Israel was. So he asked someone to beat him up so that he looks like he's Zemon. I also wanted to come and preach about blessings. I said, God bless me so that I look like my Zemon. What I'm talking about is I'm like it. I'm so blessed. And I don't apologize. I don't owe the devil anything. And I'm not going to negotiate here. Whatever was missing in your life, let it come. I feel a burden for the young couples. We have challenges as young couples. To say from today, let God answer you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was following your family will stop following you. Yekam Yes, my sister, God will give you exactly that. Ah, I'm ready now to, to offload. You figure Zambia, Nigabe, Zambia, Oga, Zambia, but Oga, South in the Chela Kona. I'm going to give you everything that God has sent me to bring here. Blessings will land. There is no soil that doesn't sprout blessings. There is no soil of heart that cannot sprout blessings. In your old age, my brother, your pension just disappeared and you don't even know what to work for. God he will reverse those things. God will reverse those things. You are here, my brother, and your marriage was breaking down. I got a testimony that, that shook me. Last week, I sent the audios with you. I was ministering in Bay Bridge. And someone whose marriage had broken for a long time, I gave a testimony of uh, Brother Chokwa's marriage that was 20 years divorced and they are together. And it happened instantly in Baybridge. The sister was called back to her marriage and they are together now. This message does things. The angel of the Lord is so real. 
He is going to visit you. Are you cared for prayer now? I want you to be angry with your situation. And say, I'm able to do it. You shall discover that you have a gift actually. There is something special about you that I can't do myself. You shook your head. I wanted to shake your hand. She has already given you that one. This time, let God do something. Because your eyes, Sister Lisa, there is something serious here. There is something very serious. Don't allow it to fall. Something very serious. Allow, uh, I want to break it. Don't worry. It's over like that. It's over like that. Satan, I command you now to release in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't have to deal with this again. It's over. This is your time. Wherever you are, wherever you are. Wherever you are. The fire is here. Whatever you are, let the Holy Ghost touch you now. Whatever you are, let the power of the Holy Ghost touch you. I can demonstrate to everyone of you what is with me now. I have never seen it fail. I've been all over the world. But because I feel him now, I can prove it to you. That is but a light thing. Come, my brother, come, my brother. I told you, God is looking for young men. Young preachers. Young people. Ministries. That shall rise in power. Now. I want you to close your eyes. But if your situation is too much for you. Goodbye to that situation. You see what I was saying. There are people that I said are here. But I had not seen them. But I knew in the spirit. Some of them had texted that they'll be here, but I had not seen them. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, this message is alive. Yes. If you have debts, my brother, I want God to answer you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are we, are we ready? Are we ready right now? Are we ready right now? There is something with us right now. I want you to be reverent wherever we are. At this very moment, something supernatural is taken over right now. Something supernatural is addressing your situation. You kept receiving it, Napra. You kept receiving it and receiving it and receiving it. You kept testifying and testifying. But one day you can have the keys. One day you have the keys. It's not any man's effort. But that spirit of God. That spirit of God. Shall touch you. Listen young girl. Sorry. Before this disappears. Sorry. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. You want to be free? You want to be free? May the power of the living God set you free now. Satan, by the authority given unto me, and by the pool of her faith, I release her, not only her, everyone in her family, everyone in her family, shall be free. It has started. I'm not through. I'm not through. Just be there. God will be working with you as I'm here. I want you to be well trained to embrace it and fight it yourself. This moment I open, as I call the song leader, understand that I'm not like Brother Branham. So I, my precision, I, I'm learning. But I, I, I can't declare some things in public. 
because I have a margin of error, right? But, so I want to say what God is showing me now. Let's have a moment of privacy about it. So I'll call the song later. But so many signals that come to me is faith, is inspiration to say this chapter I close. God has given us that grace, my sister. To say when you open a door, it says when you agree touching anything, Zwana, you can't just struggle just for Lobola. When God has so much money to give you. You can't be a target of the devil ways. He always robbing you and stealing your things and what. I say let it end. Let the hedge of God be around you. It's getting hot here. It's getting hot here. Every demon. I adjure it. In the name of Jesus. To leave because I'm coming there. I'm coming there. Release them, you Satan. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn in this place. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost set you free right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm shooting arrows. Help me, help me. All over the building, whosoever is bound. Right now, be free. Before I lay hands on you, be free. Let the fire burn, let the fire burn. Wherever there is a demon, before I lay hands on you, let the demon leave you now. My pume, my pume, my pume. My pume. My shisa. All those are taxing your dreams. I say free, 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 free. Just help them, just help them. Wherever you are, help them, help them. There shall be 10, 12 of them right now. Be free, be free, be free. Ye kamaliga chess. In my matimori yoke ya ishisa. In the name of Jesus. Upupoko kobon, upupoko kobusu. You are dreaming those things. They are ending now. Free, free, free. They say you never be married. You shall be married. At the back there, at the back there, at the back there. In the name of Jesus. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Receive the fire now. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive your visitation. Umnyama uyapela. All those covenants that were turned over your life when you were young are over in Jesus' name. Amen. Is she here? Yes, In the name of Jesus, I'm fighting battles that you don't even know. Yes. Your fans that were held are released. Are you ready to pray? Let's all close our eyes. And each one prays. I'll, while you are praying, I'll come there. I'll come. Each one pray. Each one pray. Our heavenly father. In the name of Jesus. The snare has been broken. I felt that strong chain. Going cry and breaking. And I can declare by your authority. Your spirit is here to set your people free. Your spirit is here to liberate them, Father. Some have come from very far. Something telling them that burdens are lifted and covered. Their brothers have toiled and worked very hard. But nothing seems to happen in their lives. They have been so stagnant. There are some who, when they were coming here, they started feeling sick. When the enemy was fighting hard. Father, there is victory here. I'm laboring as your servant. As you have given me by this gift. As you have anointed me, Father, to go further and destroy the kingdom of the enemy. I pray that your Holy Ghost will overshadow everyone right now. In the spirit world, it's already done. In the spirit world, Father, they are already free. Jobs are coming. Permits are coming. Courtships are coming. Testimonies are coming. Victories are coming. Breakthroughs are coming. Answers are coming. Fans are coming. Visitations are coming. I've already declared it in the spirit. Hear your people, Lord. Such as I have, I give unto them. Let the Holy Ghost take over totally in their lives right now. 
Let the Holy Ghost break every snare and every power of the enemy. Young Kimuabo Kokolabo Kuruya is Shisa. Young Kimuama Jos in a Shisa. Nalum Tallas on Yalwa. Young Kimue Tachinella Pamaisha. Fagum Lido, Um Lido, Um Lido Gamwe. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn. Let the anointing of God set them free. Heavenly Father, revive your people. Heavenly Father, touch your people. Heavenly Father, answer your people. Heavenly Father, deliver your people. Open doors for them. Satan, he desired to sift them like wheat. But we are praying, intercepting, disarming principalities, bloating the handwriting of ordinances against them. Bless your people, Father. Anoint your people. Fill them with your power. Fill them with your anointing. Those who are confessing their sins. Those who are making right. May you visit them. Every newcomer, Father, that is making right with you. May you visit them. Some are saying enough is enough. Father, may you answer them. <clears throat> Wherever you are, just be praying. Don't stop praying. We are in the midst of an operation. We are in the midst of an operation. Be free now. Come out of your life. I adjure you to release. Give a package up. Give a package up. Give a package up. Umbuisele, 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 umbuisele. Ye kamaliga chesu. Satan, we are sha. We are sha. Let the fire of the living God win this case for him, such as I have. By that fire of God, I break cycles in their life, I break chains in their life. By the fire of God. Such as I have, I give unto you. May you touch the Lord. May you overshadow him. Bless the Father like never before. As I pray for you, all the family members, let them receive their portion. Father, may you answer your people. May you answer your people. In the name of Jesus, may you answer this couple. Give them their desires. Fight their battles. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their life. Father, may you promote them. I speak, Lord Father, financial blessings. I speak restoration. I speak, Lord Father, divine protection. May you restore, Lord Father, whatever the enemy has been doing. Father, I pray, whatever the things have done, we reverse it. May, Father, such a glory be upon them. Let that fear go away. Father, may you bless them. Financial and spiritual. May you answer them super abundant. Through this prayer of faith, things are coming to them. Whatever you are, just pray. You believe it, my brother? Receive it in Jesus' name. Father, as I lay hands on my brother, may you touch him. May you anoint him. May you give him his ass desires. May you fight for him. May you break every yoke and every fetter. Answer him, Father, like chapels. Enlarge him like chapels. Enlarge his territory. In Jesus' name. God has heard your prayer before I lay hands on you. It was already done, my sister. Father, I thank you for what they have done in your life. May you bless you. May you answer you. May you feel you. In Jesus' name. Whatever you are, just be praying. Just be praying. Pray like never before. Press in prayer. God is going to answer you spiritually. Shoot arrows wherever you are, my sister. Don't get tired now. Press on in prayer. Press on in prayer. Confess all those abortions. Confess all those adulteries. Confess all those fornications. Our God is ready to bless you. Our God is ready to answer you. Everything that was not moving in your life shall start moving from today. 
Do you believe it? As I invite the song leader to come forward. Wherever you are, reach out and touch the Lord. Wherever you are, you are already anointed. I told you that your answer is coming. I told you that you are coming to testify. Listen, young brother. Don't fear because of your failures. Don't fear because of your mistakes. Don't fear because of your past. There is a hand that can pick you now. There is a hand that can open a way. They left Egypt with the boldness. Be bold wherever you are. Be bold. Be bold. In your prayers, be bold. In your declarations, be bold. If there are people who came from far, if there are people who came from far, come and see me now. Don't kneel, stand wherever you are. Stand. God is ready to do miracles here. I want you to see raw miracles today. Not small things that a man can do. Others just be praying wherever you are. The hand of Jehovah will locate you. The hand of Jehovah will locate you. But those who came from far. Sister Majori, are you here? Come forward. And my sister with the green jacket, come forward. My sister, yes. No, she has seen my hand. Some of you just see that I'm calling you because something has already happened. Let's be praying wherever you are. Let's be praying. We won't leave you out. We are coming to your needs.